Welcome back, friends. So today I got a new money-making guide for you. This is going to be a relatively AFK thing to do. Uh, it is going to be a bank standing skill, so bank standards or anything else that you can do at a bank might be a good idea to have. I'm not going to be doing anything right now, but I am going to be transmuting some Runite ore. So if you didn't already know, uh, any of the energies, you can left click on them and it gives you an option of things to make. Uh, I can make an important of restoration 10, a two important of restoration, a uh, sign of porter 6. But the thing we really care about is this runite ore here. Uh, as you probably already know, runite ore is worth over 10,000 GP a piece. And all you have to do to make them is to have 6 adamantite ore and 10 incandescent energy. Obviously, seeing as how this is a money-making guide, that quantity of adamantite ore and incandescent energy costs less than the actual runite ore that you can make with these. So I'm going to go ahead and make a thousand of these. I'm going to see how long it takes, see how much money I make, and then I'll get back to you guys to show you how much gold per hour this is going to be. And it looks like it's going to be pretty good if the prices on the GE are correct. The method for transmuting these runite ore is rather simple actually. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to make a preset. You're going to want 40 incandescent energies and then just fill up the rest of your inventory with adamantite ore. I have that set as the number one whenever I access the bank. So I also have the weave incandescent energy set as number one. That way whenever I access the bank, I just click on the bank. one one and then spacebar now you are going to be doing this every seven seconds or so so it's not going to be super away from keyboard or anything like that but it's actually not too bad uh one thing i do want to mention while i have you guys is if you have the modified uh divination helm you're going to want to wear that because it has a five percent chance of saving you some of these adamantite ores and the incandescent energies the divination cape also has that perk so if you have 99 in divination go ahead and buy the divination cape it will be worth it in the end because you're going to be making 10,000 if not more for every single time it saves one so assuming that you're going to be doing this for a long period of time definitely worth buying this buying this cape here uh, if you're planning on only doing this for a small portion of time uh, we're going to see how many runite ore I actually save to see where the break even is because you do have to buy the divination cape for about a hundred thousand coins. I already had one in my bank because I'm using it for other things such as when I make the sign of porters for myself. So this is one of those things that you have to figure out whether or not it's worth the investment up front to save you money over time or whether or not you are willing to just forego the divination cape. Uh, I'm going to try to take into account that I'm wearing the divination cape and not the... Sorry about that. Uh, take into account that I'm wearing the divination cape, but not the headpiece of for the divination outfit. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard because there's always going to be a little bit of randomness to it, and I'm going to have to look up to see if they actually stack or not. But I will be letting you know when I get to the end of this, making a thousand of these. We just finished up getting all these runite ore here transmuted. As you can see, I have over a thousand, even though I only bought a thousand worth of supplies. This divination cape saved about 2%. Uh, that seems to be about online for what the capes do save you. And I'm going to go ahead and do a price check of these. Uh, if you did not have the divination cape, you can expect to get 10.8 million from this. With the divination cape, you can expect to get an extra 350k. So if you're doing a thousand rent or definitely worth buying that cape for 100k to get you 300k extra. Uh, I am going to sell these and see what their actual going price is so we can figure out GP per hour. The Runite Ore just finished up selling, so I sold wall 1,025 of these for 11.2 million. So if you go ahead and check the resources that I bought, I bought 6,000 Adamantite Ore and 10,000 Incandescent Energies. And all in all, the total amount for supplies cost was 8.7 million. So all in all, I made two and a half million in about 40 minutes, seeing it's how you can make about 1,500 of these runite ore an hour. So grand total, you make about 3.75 million per hour. 
Now if you have the modified headband, you can probably make up to about 4 million per hour with this. I currently don't have it, that's why I did not make this much. But if you have the modified headband for the divination, you will be making about another 10 to 15 of these Runite Ore every single hour. So you'll definitely be hitting the 4 million per hour mark. So all in all, not a bad uh, guide here. Uh, it's about 4 million per hour, but you do need 99 divination. So this is a higher level money making method. It's not really AFK. It's not super click intensive either though it's kind of an in between so four point mi or sorry four mil per hour for a kind of in between click intensity is not bad actually and all in all you get about twenty four thousand uh divination experience per thousand so that's going to be thirty six div thirty six thousand divination experience per hour so if you're actually training up divination ninety six to ninety nine this may be a legitimate way to train up grinding training up. If you guys all like videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, during the month of July here, I'm going to be making a lot of money making guides. So hopefully I find something that you guys will appreciate, something that you guys can use. As always, I would love it if you leave a like and a comment. Have a good one.